Wall jumping, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> we have to get out of the pit? Uh, this is kind of cool. So we gotta go... Well, technically, we don't need to hit these in order, but five checkpoints on both sides of the walls. So, hypothetically, you could have it loop around like this and then jump into A. So, just a whole rotation and a half. Or we could have this hit them in order. This is very high in speed and acceleration. Oh, there is a 10 road limit. Well, that's why it's called wall jump. We're supposed to use the walls. So, actually, that makes me want to just do two loops even more. So, here's what I'm thinking. Well, thing is, I don't know how well it's going to drive up the walls. Hmm. So you know each checkpoint activates a hydraulic phase. Interesting. So no hydraulics, but hydraulic controller. I don't know what to make of that. All right, so I just want to see what this does. Might even just make this reinforced because I don't think money is going to be the issue here. Like, will this let it drive up the wall? Honestly? Yeah. It's a pretty decent wall drive. It's just not, isn't that fast. First things first, let's see if this hits all the first four. All right, with ease. All right, but then it loses speed. But it's cool, because we have infinite jumps. Just loop and loop and loop. It's never gonna break. So here's what I'm thinking. Since there actually is a hydraulic phase, I think I'm just gonna make all these split joints. I'll just twos. And I'm gonna just drop it through the earth itself after A4. So not now, not after A2, not after A3, but after A4. And then I wanna see if it uh, so there it goes. Then do we think it'll go up much higher? Uh, not really. The hard part's gonna get, be getting it to go up to A5. So, um, what I'm gonna do then is a catch. This is not a good catch though, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, but see how it hits the star now? So what I want it to do is, well, catch better, but also just have speed so it can almost make another jump up here, but I'm one road short. Can I get rid of this, maybe? Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't need this now. Wait, that's looking a lot better. So I could probably do this, this, and that. Let's see where this puts me. Look at that speed. It's closer. I don't know if this will work, but it would be pretty sick if it did. You guys see what I'm kind of going for? It's not terrible. I just need better speed here. Okay, not bad. Wait, 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 wait. Multiple loops. No, it lost its speed. See, I wasn't looking too shabby, though. Maybe try something like this. And then use two roads here. But I lose speed, so I got to be careful. Yeah, that seems better, though. Oh, come on. No, closest one yet. I think if I keep tweaking this, it should be good. With this much cheese, you should be CEO of Cracker Barrel. I mean, I don't know about Cracker Barrel, but I am from Wisconsin, so I am repping the state. Let's go. 19,000. Okay, a lot of people did this. I don't feel bad about this because I'm not even top 25% with it. Why is the budget so high? It's a great question. I'm actually so confused what the intended solution was. Supposed to do five spring cans and jump up? Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I definitely dislike the idea of that solution. I think, honestly, just a little additional thing probably could have just been making you hit the checkpoints in order, even though that wouldn't change up much for my solution. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these $4,000 ones wouldn't be possible anymore, because that's that's absurd. Like, look at this. Wait, ah, you know what? No, never mind. Never mind. This sort of thing definitely could work. You could probably get like a $5,000 bridge, and very impressive, by the way, a $5,000 bridge that works even with requiring checkpoints in order. Oh, and there's a catching road up here, because it just barely falls short otherwise. No, that's creative. All right, we've been playing this for less than two hours and we gotten four levels done. I had spent quite a day of progress. So now we're on the final level of the secret world. Um, <laughs> yeah, final of the secret world. Here we go. Pinball. Oh, dear God. So we have an actual vehicle in the pinball. An actual pinball machine with a bunch of checkpoints to hit. No hydraulics. We have to get inside this thing. So this is already the final level of the secret world in the previous Polybridge game with additional goals. And then we have checkpoints down here. Oh my God. So it's a big flag at the very bottom. We just have to get it through. So we always hit the flag, but we have to hit all this crap. 
Oh. Okay, well this is gonna be nuts. Let's see where the, the ball falls normally. It's gonna fall in here. This rotates, which is cool. Without doing anything, it seems like we hit no checkpoints. Wow, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be super weird. Wow. Oh my gosh. I have to like launch into here, send it into here, and then launch into A2. Wow, I, I don't even know where to begin. There is a hydraulic controller at least. So at least we have split joints. Yeah, getting both of these seems really tough because it feels like I have to do some sort of trampoline-esque thing. So something like this. And then what I need to do is have a guiding road, like here, that hopefully doesn't just instantly get destroyed. Yeah, of course. I'm just trying to get to barely hit the uh, star right now. And then I'm going to have like a little spring cannon underneath that launches it. Oh, that still didn't hit? There we go. All right, so then spring cannon time. Here and here. And then a lighter version of one here. It's still going to be wide, I think. And this one actually especially is going to be wide. So then it's also going to, there's also going to be an attachment like this. And then I'm gonna do something like that, 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 that. Oh, I just realized I actually don't need these, huh? This isn't gonna work, is it? Because I wanted to do some sort of spring kind of catch in here. And then this be stretched. And then this here is gonna be like that, but lesser. Still like 70%. We've launched it. It's just going the wrong way. Yeah, this is actually almost exactly what I wanted to do. I just want to launch into that star now. So I got to adjust the angles and all that. We've almost got it. There we go. We hit the two checkpoints. Now I just want to get this without breaking. Ooh, there we go. No breaks. Now we just got to make a hit. 100% stress. Without breaking, by the way. There we go. All right, so we got the first two checkpoints. No breaks. Hey, we even got three of them. Next. Now we got to figure out how to get inside this thing. Getting an A3 is going to be pretty tricky. Might have to flip. I, you might be right. Good news is it's really easy to do like this because yeah you see how this rotates i want to make it actually enter this thing nice so we hit the two of them this rotates so now we just need to make a catch down here i need to make a catch to be able to send this in so I think I need a third road. My scoop isn't quite long enough, although it is close. Come on. Well, yeah, that's my own fault for being so naive. Um, even though these are springs, maybe if I compress them, it could help. I actually kind of want the same idea, but here. Uh, I think that's too much compression. Why does this break now? I'm literally not even touching it. And you decide to blow up on me. Well, I guess it actually changes a little bit, though. There's a subtle change in the fact that uh, the addition of this has adjusted the weight distribution of the ball ever so slightly. And I guess that's enough to make this blow up. I'm going to be honest. I am surprised that's the case. Okay, so far so good. So this goes here. And then what I'm worried about is whether this is gonna- Oh, that doesn't break. So now this should roll down and then- Now I gotta add something here to allow it to actually get to the star. And I just realized it has to hit the star at this time. Because I can have it go through here forever, but it's gotta- Oh, jeez. It's gotta do something weird down here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, cable muscle. All right, let's do a cable muscle. Let's go. I, I think I want to make a different mechanism up top. So it's got to work, doubly work as a catch. Or what I was thinking about was doubly making it work as a catch and a ramp so it could drive to here. But what if instead of all this, I just continued with this thing and went here all the way over. This just might be better, to be honest. Let's see if I can create a flap here. Oh, that's right. I could probably just have these all be split joints. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. After it hits that checkpoint, I could easily make it a split joint and it'd probably get out on its own. Ew, what was that break? Let me get rid of this and change this up. Let me see what happens when I do this. It's probably going to roll back, but on the off chance it doesn't, that'd be pretty sick. Wait, I can have it drop down. Oh, I know what I could do. I know what I could do. I could actually have it drop down to here, have this angle up a little bit, and then do something like this. All right, so we hit this, then this should drop off, which should hopefully allow it to exit out the back. I don't know though, it might actually hit this. So maybe I should have this drop off too. Yeah, I need to have this drop off as well. So that that's easily manageable. I could just have the road drop off. That shouldn't be too bad. The rest can stay. All right, so anyways, we escaped the thing. And now we just need to hit the final two checkpoints. After all of this, we have only two checkpoints to go and this should not be that bad. That should not be that bad at all. So let's get the, let's get like a catch here. And then what I'm just gonna do is just simply send this over, like a jump. Atlanta hits A5 and falls in. And honestly, that should be very close to winning. I think we're almost done. It's just we gotta mess with this a bit because this is probably gonna break a bunch. Oh, that's a bad break. And it loses speed, so we're actually not close. I don't like that break at the in the slightest. And then I've got to do, I mean, a lot of other sneaky stuff because I realize I can't make it do a jump, which is a little disappointing. Or maybe I can, I just gotta be smarter. Well, no, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't need to anything. I can just have this go across. It's like here, have it drop off and roll in. Okay, here's everything. Doesn't really break there. Rolls down, launches, goes over. Come on, catch, please still work. Yeah, it ends with a bridge, that's true. At the very end of it all, we technically have a bridge, despite all these shenanigans. Well, hope it doesn't break though. Hoping for- cross your fingers, I think this could be it. Like, logically, this should work. We're just gonna hope that it uh, doesn't have any unexpected problems. All right, get ready. Here we go. No breaks. And... Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the secret world. Let's go. No breaks under budget. Steam Town is completed. Not a bad set of levels at all. This one, I bet, is actually really fun to go for budget on to an extent because it's just the level with so much going on. I bet there's a lot of ways you can save money. This was a very fun set of levels to complete. I didn't expect to get the second half done so quickly. I really like the second half better than the first. Yeah, let's check out gallery. Let's see, uh, let's see cheap stuff here. I'm curious how people sp uh, save money. Here's the cheapest one. It doesn't actually show what happened. Can we get one that shows a bit more? This shows everything. Two launches. Sets that over there. This is held in place here, which is cool. That's, oh, that's a good way to save money. Oh, that is so well done. And then it should just, oh, it breaks. Wait, no, it doesn't break. It splits. And then it should roll out. And then we have the same idea here. Wow, well done. Very cool. So out of all of these, I think the only levels I didn't really care for were the third and the fifth ones. Every other level was just a good time. So shout out to devs for making it. Would not be opposed to more officially released worlds in the future. And that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks again guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed.